Pierre San Giorgio, author of Survive the Economic Collapse. Another little video, this time uh, from Masada here in, in Israel. I wanted to take the opportunity to, to speak to you a little bit here why this place is uh, interesting regarding what we're talking about surviving the economic collapse. Well, uh, first of all, historically, this is a very interesting place. You may or may not know the story, but to make it short, here, when there was a Jewish revolt against the Roman Empire in, the seven, in 70 AD, uh, some of the rebels after Jerusalem fell, um, basically uh, hid in this fortress, which was built by the King Herod as a summer palace for him. And they hid, it, hid here against, um, of course, the Roman army, which sent uh, one legion, which surrounded uh, the fortress, built some camps, and uh, started to lay siege on this, on this place. Now, this place was very per per particular because it's in the middle of the desert. It uh, dominates the Dead Sea. And obviously, this is not the place where you have lots of food. So they built the way the, the fortress was built with a lot of storage for water, huge cisterns, but also uh, huge storage for food, olive oil, corn, uh, dates. Uh, and also they had uh, spaces for gardens, which they well watered, uh, could provide food. So in fact, they could hold for years. In fact, they did have held for years. Obviously, uh, the Romans, um, being at the head of an incredible military machine, uh, they decided to just storm the place uh, and they built a ramp, a huge ramp out of rocks so that they could reach from the lower grounds to the top and therefore bring assault machines to break the walls and conquer the place. And uh, in fact, uh, the, the Jewish uh, uh, defenders basically decided at some point that it was better for them to kill themselves, to get themselves suicide, rather than fall into the hands of the Romans, which surely would put them into at least slavery for daring to revolt against, against Rome. Yeah, don't don't fuck with the Romans. That was for sure, <laughs> and um, and so the, the the interestingly is the um, Masada is the place where I think the if I'm correct the Israeli officers uh, swear their oath, um, and in one way this is an interesting message because clearly it shows that uh, um, death is better than slavery and it's better to die to the last rather than become a slave, which I can understand. On the other hand. Um, live to fight another day is also a better option. Anyway, regarding to what I write, this is a very interesting place as a sustainable autonomous base because uh, it shows that you can, you can be in a place where you can protect yourself, where you, if you have enough storage of food, enough water, uh, ability to defend yourself, uh, clearly there was a synagogue, so you have the knowledge, you have the spirituality, you can hold for a lot of time. Obviously in the times, uh, the enemy was so strong that uh, anyway, in the end it was pointless. I personally would not have killed myself and my family, I would have tried to escape and fight another day. But anyway, who knows how it was at the times. Certainly this is a very interesting place and um, it will lead me to uh, my fourth uh, video on uh, how this country today, Israel, can face an economic collapse and how it can work out to uh, its own survival. See you another time.